So it's February, and everybody is thinking about celebrating love. How are you going to celebrate the Valentine's Day? Have you thought about buying flowers? Hmm, smells like love. Or buying a stuffed toy, like this one. Pretty cute, right? Or having dinner with someone special in your life. Do you think all of these things would help blossom your relationship with someone you love? What makes love grow? And how do we nurture relationship? Health and the growth of the church just like love needs to be nurtured and should be given an atmosphere. Healthy churches comes with healthy members and leaders. The ongoing pastors conference of Pacific Union gives an emphasis on becoming a healthy leaders thereby producing healthy churches. Full Package Healthy Monday kick off by highlighting how mental health A affects the growth of the church. That you always have to have several things at the tip of your tongue, if you will, for which you are grateful. And the moment you feel fearful, you give thanks for something and you'll be right back up there in the conscious thought part of the brain. And now you can manage fear more effectively. Bottom line, remember I started out by saying each emotion has its own chemical associated with it, its own neuropeptide, which means that you cannot have gratitude, which is part of joy, and fear that coexist in the brain at the same time. It's only one or the other but never two at the same time. Mind, body, and soul come together. One cannot function without the other. God has entrusted us as a steward of His temple, and so overtaking diseases should be our number one target. You say, how did I get diabetes? You're wondering why. But what you don't realize is that most of the food that you buy from the store have sugar that are added in them. God had given the body the ability to heal itself. But we have to follow God's counsel on how to be healthy. Undeniably, physical health comes hand in hand with the financial health. Beyond the impact on physical health, our financial health touches on every aspect of our lives such as attitudes, behaviors, and emotional stability. There are two L's that I want to give you as I close. The first one is limit and a list. If you go shopping with a list, you will then buy what's on that list. But if you have no list, you'll spontaneously buy everything you see. Our relationship with God as leaders is reflected to our members in our churches. Having a physical, healthy mindset will give us the advantage to make a better decision. Having a healthier physical body will give us also the opportunity to be productive in our churches. And having a healthy financial habit gives us the tools that we need in order for us to be able to build a loving and healthy churches. And God will guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in dry places, and make strong thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not.